The Pennsylvania primaries took place today and the results were devastating for Donald Trump and expectations were exceeded for President Biden and Democrats. Does this sound familiar as we have this trend that we've been talking about through all of these primaries? And let's just take a look at the data. Right here, President Biden has surpassed the number of votes that President Obama received in the 2012 Pennsylvania primary. Democrats came out to vote for President Biden. He got more than 93% of the vote, more than 616,000 votes, doing better than Obama in 2012. On the other hand, Donald Trump only got slightly over 80% of the votes, about 460,000 votes, whereas Nikki Haley, who has been out of the race for over a month, got about 18% of the vote. Yes, Nikki Haley got 18% of the vote. For some points at the night, it was nearly 25% of the vote. And look, votes are still coming in, but Nikki Haley received over 100,000 votes. Let me repeat that. Nikki Haley, who's been out of the race for a very long time, in a closed Republican primary, got over 100,000 votes. As Amar Musa, who is uh, leading the rapid response team for President Biden, <laughs> explained that in the 2020 election, Pennsylvania was decided by 80,000 votes and Nikki Haley has received more than 100,000 votes in the Republican primary in Pennsylvania. As Amar Musa says, Trump is in deep trouble in Pennsylvania. Big problems there. Now, just take a look, for example, in a rural district, Pennsylvania's House District 139. It tells the tale of what we've been seeing. So you go to Pennsylvania House District 139 with just about all of the votes uh, in, and the Republican won 58.3% to 41.7%, a margin of 16.6%, but this marked an overperformance for Democrats by a little over 11 points, as Joshua Smithley points out, in a Trump plus 28 district, probably a bit be about 10-ish in the end, and this is almost an entirely rural district with a 10 to 11 point overperformance by Democrats there. If you just want to take a look at Donald Trump's performance in a number of these counties, Donald Trump is significantly underperforming as well in Pennsylvania. I mean, just take a look right here in Delaware County, uh, for example. Um, and this is Delaware County mail ballots. Trump at 54%. Nikki Haley at 46%, whereas President Biden in Delaware County at 97% to Dean Phillips at 3%. You will see this consistent trend of Donald Trump. Take a look at Chester County. Donald Trump, 49.2%. Nikki Haley, 45.2%. And if you want to take a look at, uh, uh, look at Cumberland, Crawford, um, Donald Trump underperforming there as well. As Peter Henlein, uh, DeSantis supporter, um, who is still a big supporter of democracy and logic and common sense. I'm a fan of Peter. Um, Peter explained how, look, Biden is getting about 94% in the Pennsylvania presidential primary. Trump is on track, he said, to get less than 70%. It looks like it's going to be closer to 80%. Haley's been out for a long time. That's about 30% of the GOP casting a protest vote against Donald Trump. Trump is not winning Pennsylvania. He's not winning this country. Peter Henlein, a lifelong Republican, says the GOP is screwed. Let me repeat that. He says the GOP is screwed. Now, 
Earlier today, we want to talk about message discipline. Donald Trump decided to give an interview in uh, with the uh, the biggest Pennsylvania local media station, Action News, that's ABC6. And Donald Trump told ABC6 he was bragging about terminating Roe v. Wade. He says how great it is that women's reproductive rights have been taken away because of his own action and how very happy people are that Donald Trump overturned Roe v. Wade. Here's his interview with Pennsylvania's Action News, ABC6. Let's play this clip. And we were able to do that when we terminated Roe v. Wade. Now, when the when you look at it and you look at what's happening all over the country now, states are voting. Ohio just voted. All different, by the way. It's tailor-made and it's really working out well for for people. And they're very, very happy. Every legal scholar felt and felt for a long time, for 53 years they've been trying to do it. And as the Biden-Harris headquarters pointed out, on the right, this is Donald Trump spending today bragging about ending Roe v. Wade. On the left, here's President Biden spending today meeting with voters and fighting for reproductive freedom. Here's what President Biden had to say today. Play this clip. Are you ready to do that? You gotta show up and vote. Are you ready to protect freedom? It was Donald Trump who ripped away the rights of freedom of women in America. It'll be all of us who restore those rights for women in America. And when you do that, we'll teach Donald Trump and the extreme MAGA Republicans a valuable lesson. Don't mess with the women of America. I mean it. <laughs> Folks, Let's get this done. Go to JoeBiden.com, sign up, get involved. I know you all in this room are involved. Talk to your family and friends. Organize your community. Register voters, get them out to vote. Old fashioned way. Pick them up on the next day call. Do you need a ride to the polls? And let's remember who we are. We're the United States of America. And there's nothing, nothing beyond our capacity if we work together. May God bless you all. May God protect our troops. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Edward Isaac Dovery is uh, reporting that North America's Building Trades Union voted today to endorse Biden much earlier than usual and with plans to spend eight figures on mobilizing its 250,000 members in Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. They credit President Biden's work with infrastructure. The Building Trades President Sean McGarvey told uh, Dobre that Biden, quote, is almost like the perfect leader sent at the perfect time for working people. As for Trump, who courted the union in the past, the head of the union stated, quote, I really don't give a F if he's pissed, McGarvey said. And again, you've got President Biden talking about hope, President Biden talking about bringing the country together, President Biden talking about tangible benefits, uh, whether it's health care, whether it's Social Security, whether it is jobs, 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 and better paying jobs, whether it's helping unions, being there with workers, whether it's infrastructure, whether it's the CHIPS Act, bringing uh, important jobs here in the semiconductor industry, investing in America, whether it is protecting veterans, protecting seniors. President Biden's listing specific policies. Here's how I, here's how I reduce the, the cost of prescription drug prices. Here is what I am doing. For example, here was an off script moment earlier in the day where a UPS employee told Joe Biden, quote, the only reason I have a pension is because of you. You stood strong with us and will stand strong with you, sir. And so going into the Pennsylvania uh, primary today, you had President Biden put out a very succinct and normal message telling people to get out the vote. Biden said, Pennsylvania, today is your presidential primary. There's too much at stake to sit this one out. Let's bring it home, President Biden said. You see the photos right there. 
On the other hand, the message that Donald Trump was talking about today was um, thousands of people were turned away from the courthouse in lower Manhattan. This is false, by the way. Um, literally blocks from the tiny side door where I entered. False. It is an armed camp to keep people away. False. And then he calls the uh, New York Times reporter Maggie Haberman. He calls her Maggot Hagerman. And Trump says Maggot Hagerman of the failing New York Times falsely reported that I was disappointed with the crowds. No, I'm not disappointed, maggot. So that's how Donald Trump's spending his time, President Biden spending his time talking to the people. And look, we're seeing this over and over again. We've covered what was happening in primaries across the country. And as I said, show me the data. I'm a data geek. I want to see where people are voting, what the trends are, and folks, the trends are overwhelming, pro-democracy and rejecting the madness, rejecting the chaos, rejecting the meanness, rejecting the wannabe fascism, rejecting the attack on our democracy, re uh, rejecting the loserness, the weirdness all of that that Donald Trump represents and supporting, on the other hand, President Biden and the pro-democracy movement, normalcy, democracy, our constitution, actually delivering things, policies. And as I've always said, liberals, progressives, independents, mainstream conservatives, mainstream Republicans, let's all come together, reject this Trumpism, reject this MAGA madness. We're seeing that that is exactly what happened in Pennsylvania. We'll keep you updated with more of this news, but big, big updates today in Pennsylvania. I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. Thank you so much for watching. Have a